Hi everybody, welcome to my review of the Neat and Handy Airbrush and the Compressor. As you can see, it comes with two batteries, comes with various size containers of a smaller cup, a medium and the large, its lids, its adapter, its airbrush, a pipette and the tools necessary to clean it. It also comes with a charger. The charger is very simple. You plug it in to one end and the other end to a USB connection on there. So very, very easy to use. Uh, as you can see back here, these are some of the examples that I used to build uh, to correction to paint with this airbrush compressor set. I've used various brands of Ammo, Vallejo, Mr. Hobby, Tamiya, and testers. They are acrylic, they are lacquer, and they are enamel. And with their proprietary thinners and cleaners, they cause no damage to the airbrush itself inside. It worked very well when laying down the colors on the actual airplane and the subject that you're going to be painting. I experienced no clogging, however there was a little bit of tip drying, but that's just the type of paint that I was using and how thin I ran it. So that was my fault, but otherwise it worked, it performed very, very well. The compressor provides approximately 20 psi of pressure when airbrushing at peak. Each battery lasts approximately 20 to 30 minutes and sometimes it even peaked out at 40 minutes. However, the last few minutes its performance had degraded which is probably accepted, ex uh, expected and all I did was I just quickly switched out my battery and I carried on. While I was using one, I charged the other. When assembling, you don't have to tighten it right down because there's an O-ring between all the connections. And it works just like that. Assembly is very, very easy. It provided a good large area coverage. As you can see on these examples here, I would use the major colors, I primed it, and it worked well. When I went to go do fine line detail, I had to thin the paint very, very thin, and it worked pretty good for that aspect of it. I would have to take off the tip cover like so, and then have it very, very thin paint and they get much closer to the subject, but I was able to get very close and provide fine line detail. The cleanup of it was very good. It was very easy, it was very fast. I just put a few drops of the proprietary cleaner in it, unloaded it, cleaned it out with some Q-tips, and then put in my new paint, and then away I go, and it worked well. For a detail breakdown, it comes apart very easily. There's no, um, very, very small parts to, to be worried about. It, it uh, comes apart easily. You can take the back end off, take out the needle, clean out inside, and you're good to go for a nice detailed breakdown. I highly recommend this setup for a beginner. It works, it's very, very forgiving. It's, it works extremely well. And I also recommend it for the advanced user as well because of its overall performance on a larger scale. So for the price, you get a great deal. So check them out at neatandhandy.com and give it a try.